Hi guys, Barry here. I was just in the middle of writing an email to tell you about this and I thought, you know what, it's going to be easy to actually show you what I mean because it's kind of a little bit of a, a strange concept or a difficult concept to, to, to write a short email about. So I decided to make this video instead. And uh, basically what we're looking at here is a way to map out funnels. Now, when I say funnel, I don't mean like the upsell, you know, you get on the launch uh, JV pages where it says, you know, front end and then the upsell, then the upsell and the downsell. That's not funnel, that's just a sales sequence. What I'm talking about here is full funnel. So where you plan out your, your campaign for a particular product and maybe an upsell as well. So basically you've got all the traffic sources where you're getting traffic from, maybe Facebook ads, maybe uh, solo ads, whatever it is, leading to a particular squeeze page. And then what happens then? They go into an email sequence, which first of all sends them to a download page. They download the thing. Um, there's a link on there to go to a sales page. And you've got basically a sequence of emails firing out to get them back to that sales page again. What happens then if they abandon the card? And, and to just visualize these emails sending to a page and then what happens if they go to a page? Do you want a crush campaign to start? If it's a scarcity page, um, what happens um, when they abandon the card? What happens when they, when they check out? Where do they go? What's the checkout page look like? And when they buy it, what happens next? what emails are they going to receive after they buy it, what lists are they going to be taking off. It gets kind of complex, yeah? Just a simple funnel gets kind of complex. Now, I've got a whiteboard up on the wall behind uh, my computer here, so I can go glance up and I've got scribblings over there of different funnels and what have you. And I also use the, the old trusted um, notepad as well. But I have been testing out this new system called Funnelytics. Now, there is a free version of this, which is kind of useful to have, even if you don't go for the upgrade, which they kind of open and close at various times, so it's not always possible to upgrade. Um, but even if you don't go for the upgrade, the free version is really useful. Let me show you what I mean. Um, basically, it's a canvas, and you can drag and drop elements on that canvas to represent your funnel. And so you can see visually and, and it makes it so easy then to plan and to put these things together. Let me show you one of mine. I mean, it looks kind of complicated, but it's it's not really complicated. Basically, um, it's just my one of my funnels. So people opt in here. You see, this is kind of neat. What happens is to make this, just click on the thing here and you just drop a page onto the canvas and that's the page. Okay, so if you click edit over here, you can uh, put the URL of that page in and click to generate a thumbnail. Put some notes in there if you want to. Um, I'm going to delete that one because I don't need it. And so you can see the little thumbnails of the pages are, are brought in. You can't see them very clearly on this uh, with this resolution, but you can see uh, how they're brought into it. So you can see kind of... It reminds you what the opt-in page looks like and what the delivery page looks like and, and your sales pages. So basically opt-in, get a welcome email, it sends them to the delivery page. Then there's a link there, which if they click that button, it takes them to a uh, scarcity sales page. And then the down here, there's content and pitches back to the sales page. And if they click on the link to the sales page, they're moved onto this campaign here to emphasize the scarcity. There's the checkout page if they go and buy. If they purchase, then they go to see the upsell page. If they're abandoned cart, they're putting an email, uh, which is a disposable email list, which they're only on for 24 hours. It sends them back to the checkout again. Um, and also they can go on to my Facebook audience so I can retarget them. Um, if they buy, then they go to the upsell page and they are then in an upsell sales campaign and that keeps pushing them back to this page. And if they check out, they purchase, um, that's great. If they don't, after a while, they'll be offered a split pay and they, they go to a different split pay checkout and they may well purchase the upsell. So that's, that's the whole funnel there. Um, and you know, trying to imagine this in your mind um, can be kind of uh, daunting. Okay, it's a little bit daunting to, to try and put this together. And, and keep 
is it all in your head what's going on and what components are going on and where they're going to be on a one list and on a different list and everything else so it's kind of um handy to have this kind of thing which you can you can just literally drag and drop everything on this canvas and and you can see it you can see it instantly now another really cool thing is that once you've got a funnel like this that you build out if you wanted to there's an inbuilt product here guys there's an inbuilt ready-made product because look you can share that. So basically what you could do is you could get a funnel and you could say, right, you, I've got a funnel that's making, you know, five grand a month or something. And uh, if you want it, you just go and get, go and get Funnelytics and I will sell it to you. you. You basically put that in and it will put drop that funnel into their Funnelytics account. So they will be able to go and see all of your funnel and analyze it and reproduce it for themselves um it's kind of neat from that aspect you could you could set up five different funnels and sell them right it's a it's a, it's a ready-made product um when you get started in this there are some example funnels i'm going to just close out of this now yes i do want to leave because i don't want to save those changes and um you can go to the vault here and you'll see that there are six uh, templates in there that you can use these are all in the free account these are in the uh, the paid account down here um, and these are like funnel hacks but you can just basically uh, take one of these and adapt it to your own particular funnel okay so you add your pages in as it were because they're kind of standard uh, blueprints for funnels out there um, so that's, that's great to get you started um, just to give you an idea of what you can get in the upgraded version um this is let me show you back there before let's go back to that other page again you see if you go down here there's there's, there's things that you'll recognize here like dot com secrets their funnel and it shows you all of the sales pages all the emails and that kind of thing um and then you've got other ones that you'll recognize cb passive income there proof is here look uh they, they're doing you know six seven uh, six figures, seven figures uh, with that. Uh, you go down a little bit, you'll, you'll recognize some of these names down here. Um, you know, there's Dan Henry, I just saw, uh, Frank Kern, uh, Sam Evans. Now, Sam Evans, there's an interesting one. Let me show you that one because I've got that one loaded up here. Wilco uh, de Cray did a whole blog post about Sam Evans funnel recently. I shared it um, out with you in my Facebook group. And he analyzed it, but this is deep anal analyzing. Look at this. This is exactly how this funnel works. Okay, there's all of his uh, traffic sources. You can see AdWords, banner ads, Facebook ads, YouTube, and they all lead to that webinar. And then they go on a post webinar sequence uh, first, and then a five webinar pre sequence after they've. Um, registered for the webinar waiting room the automatic uh, webinar evergreen webinar then the sales page and then all these are retargeting okay so all these ads here are retargeting back to the sales page and then you've got the post webinar sequence with lots of different sales pages you've got seven different sales pages all leading to the order page and then they're put onto a scarcity close sequence which brings them back to the order page so you can see that's quite a comprehensive funnel there and it's great seeing it like this you can learn a lot from these uh, things in the vault however they are just for the premium guys um, the premium uh, if you feel that you want it what you get in there is um, you get analytics so you can basically next to all of these stages if you like of this funnel there will be percentages and conversions okay so you can see at a glance where if anywhere there's a log jam or where your funnels where something you need to tweak or make better you know you might have really great stats until you get through to the checkout page for example then you know that you need to tweak the checkout page and make that a little bit better um it may be that the upsell page isn't isn't converting uh, it may be that these um these emails are not converting then they may not be getting the the right sort of click-throughs so you can you know exactly then where in your funnel to tweak now that's difficult to know normally because 
mostly you're using lots of different tools. Like here I've got, you know, Convertry here for my pages. I've got, I'm using Aweber or Drip on this occasion uh, for the emails. Um, and then Thrivecart for the, for the uh, actual sales cart. So there's lots of different elements to this, but this kind of binds it all together and you can see the stats and analyze your funnel really, really clearly. So uh, that's what it is. Um, the free version, like I said, is, is free and it's useful because you know this is all mapped out in the free version. Um, if you want to upgrade and get the paid version, I'm not sure. I, th I think it's open at the moment. They open it and close it. And it's one of those things, a bit like Five Cards and uh, ConvertBox, where it's a lifetime deal at the moment. Um, they're still, you know, letting a few people in because it's still in beta. Letting a few people in at a time. It's why it opens and closes. And uh, it's about 500 quid, I think, or $500 um, to actually get a place if you are lucky enough to have a place. But then if you upgrade, the main benefit is you get all the analytics. Um, and there's a load of other little things that you can do and you get unlimited amount of funnels, unlimited amount of traffic because there's a certain amount of traffic that, that the analytics will, will need to ping in order to, uh, to do its job. So it's all kind of unlimited and you never have to pay monthly uh, when it goes monthly and all the rest of it. So that's up to you. Okay, you can you can decide that when you're inside. But I would get a free account anyway because it's it's I mean useful. Okay, so that's all for now. Thanks for watching. It's getting a bit long. I'm going to go now and finish writing the email. Bye for now.